New Jersey's Notable African Americans, presented by the Nutley Cultural Inclusion and Diversity Council, celebrating the diverse history, culture, and experiences of the people of Nutley. The History of Black History Month the precursor to Black History Month was created in 1926 in the United States when historian Carver G. Woodson and the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History announced the second week of February to be Negro History Week. The month of February was chosen to coincide with the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. President Gerald Ford officially recognized Black History Month in 1976, calling upon the public to seize the opportunity to honor the too often neglected accomplishments of Black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our country. Paul Robeson Born in Princeton, New Jersey in 1898, he became a bass baritone concert artist and actor famous both for his cultural accomplishments and for his political activism. Robeson was educated at Rutgers College on a full academic scholarship and later Columbia University Law School. He also studied Swahili and phonetics at the School of Oriental and African Studies in London in 1934. He was class valedictorian and an all-American football star. Marian Thompson Wright, the first African-American woman to earn a PhD in history in the United States, Marian Thompson Wright was born on September 13, 1905 in East Orange, New Jersey. She graduated from Newark's Barringer High School. She went on to graduate with her undergraduate degree from Howard University before obtaining her PhD from Columbia University. She was the first African-American historian to receive this degree from Columbia. Her dissertation, The Education of Negroes in New Jersey, focusing on the inequities of segregation in education. Her dissertation was later incorporated as part of argument in the historic Brown versus Board of Education Supreme Court ruling. Jesse Redmond Fawcett was born on April 27, 1884 in Camden County, New Jersey. Inspired during the 1920s Harlem Renaissance, she found success as a poet, essayist, novelist, teacher, and editor throughout her long lifetime. Her works challenged societal perceptions of African Americans at the time. Her literature centered on fictitious characters who portrayed African Americans as working professionals, thus reflecting more realistic and positive representations of the Black community. William Randolph Cozy Cole was a famous jazz drummer born on October 17, 1909 in East Orange, New Jersey. In 1926, Cole and his family moved to New York City, where the presence of influential musicians like Duke Ellington and Sonny Greer were more conspicuous. He played with Louis Armstrong and Cab Calloway. He went on to become a great American jazz drummer. He had hits with songs Topsy One and Topsy Two, which placed on the Billboard charts and sold over one million copies. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. On May 23, 1954, a boxing legend was born in Newark, New Jersey. Marvin Nathaniel Hagler lived in the Central Ward of Newark, where he experienced the Newark riots firsthand, which killed 26 people in July of 1967. The riots forced his family to relocate to Massachusetts, where Hagler took up boxing. He reigned as undisputed middleweight champion from 1980 to 1987. He holds the highest knockout percentage of all undisputed middleweight champions. Larry Doby. Doby began his baseball career as a star infielder for the Newark Eagles of the Negro National League and was also the first African-American player to play professional basketball in the ABL, a precursor to the NBA. After serving in the United States Navy during World War II, Doby returned to the NNL and led the Eagles to the Negro League's championship in 1946. In 1947, Doby became the first African-American player in the American League. 
Count Basie. William James Count Basie was born in Red Bank, New Jersey on August 21st, 1904. Basie grew up in a music-oriented family. His father played the mellophone and his mother played piano. She gave Basie lessons in his youth. During junior high school, he spent much of his time at the Palace Theater in Red Bank, where he gained free admission from doing small jobs for the theater. He formed and led the Count Basie Orchestra for 50 years, during which time he led many other jazz musicians to fame. Mickey Harris and the Shirelles. Addie Mickey Harris was born in Passaic, New Jersey on January 22, 1940. She attended Passaic High School where she met Beverly Lee, another Passaic native, Shirley Owens and Doris Coley. The four girls were best friends throughout high school. The quartet soon found that they were musically inclined and they formed their own group called the Pacuelos, which means little birds in Spanish. They are best known for their hits, Will You Love Me Tomorrow, Mama Said, and Dedicated to the One I Love. Lip Wilson, born on December 8, 1933 in Jersey City, Wilson was a popular comedian who became the first black entertainer to be the host of a successful weekly variety show on network television. He was most famous for his sketch comedy portrayal of Geraldine. He earned a Golden Globe and two Emmy Awards for the Flip Wilson Show. Whitney Houston. Whitney Elizabeth Houston was born on August 9th 1963 in Newark, New Jersey. She was certified as the most awarded female artist of all time by Guinness World Records and is one of the best-selling recording artists of all time, with sales of over 200 million records worldwide. She was also a successful film star with leading roles in The Bodyguard, Waiting to Exhale, and The Preacher's Wife. Thank you for joining New Jersey's Notable African Americans, brought to you by the Nutley Cultural Inclusion and Diversity Council, whose purpose is to empower and enrich our Nutley community by cultivating, fostering, and preserving a culture of inclusion and respect for all of our citizens and proactively advocating for equity and justice. Please join us for future engaging programs which celebrate the diverse cultures of our Nutley neighbors.